injection gas generator, as I called it, is a simple way of generating gases in the laboratory. Any gas that have a solid reactant and a liquid reactant, you can see this here, that is bubbling carbon dioxide into lime water. It's turning it milky. This is not only restricted to carbon dioxide. You can use it to generate any other gas in the laboratory. The advantage is that if you can use it to control the rates at which the gas is evolved because the injection that the syringe is used to inject the liquid reactant into the reaction chamber gradually and you watch it the rate at which you inject the liquid reactant invariably determines the rate at which the gas is evolved then we require some materials in this particular production of a simple plant first we have a wash bottle we will be using the bottle as a reaction chamber and the nozzle there to convey the gases. Then we also need a PET bottle, the normal one used for a soft drink. We will be needing the mouth and the cork. Then we have a tube that is approximately the size of the PET bottle. Then we also require a syringe. The syringe is used to inject the liquid reactant into the reaction vessel. Then you have your saw for cutting off the mouth of the PET bottle and you have a tape also to seal off any leakage. So let's get down to the action. First, you cut off the neck that's the mouth of the pet bottle as you can see there then you make a hole through the cork of this uh, particular pet bottle uh, you use a six, inch, six inches nail of course using six inches nail is okay as you can see you pierce through it carefully you don't make it too wide because the size of the nozzle of the wash bottle is not bigger than the size of the six inches nail so now we remove the nozzle from the wash bottle and insert it into this particular hole you have drilled through the cork. As you can see there, then after this, you can now go and fix it back to the tube initially. Then let's now assemble these things to form our injection gas generator. So that's the tube. This is the exact tube. The advantage of using this tube is that it doesn't leak. It doesn't leak gases when you remove the needle out of it. Uh, so if you if you can find this type of tube, it's very reliable. And you are covering one mouth with the PET bottle cork. Then insert one end into the wash bottle. Then that wash bottle will now be our reaction vessel this is our syringe just normal syringe here i'm using 10 mil string this is a solid reactant you load it into the wash bottle first solid reactants are loaded then you replace with the tube after which you now use your syringe to withdraw the liquid reactant and gradually inject it through the tube if you observe any leakage you can now seal off with the tape provided this is so much reliable that I'll be using it to produce all gases in the lab, provided that there is a liquid and a solid reactant. The gas will be evolved there as shown. Then let's use it for the production of carbon four oxide. Let me tell you how I felt When you told me you had one I felt I need a steamable joy Deep down in my heart I may not have the world I may not have gold and silver I pray that's gold increases your happiness from today so I've come to say no happy day.
Let me tell you how I felt 